So good morning to you, you join me at the Refreshing Views Observatory and it's a beautiful autumn day, clear blue skies but it's very windy so I hope the microphone's not picking up too much noise. I'm going to go and do some solar observing today and enjoy actually doing some astronomy in the warm and it's been a few years since I've last looked at the sun, the sun's gone into solar minimum, it's been not really been much point in setting up. It's pretty windy so I hope that doesn't affect the scene too much. Right, so I'm going to talk you through the kit, I will then go and set up and then we're going to see if we can capture some images. So this is just a fun session. Right, so there's lots of ways to safely observe the sun and this is my setup, this is the approach I use. And this is a specialist solar telescope that rejects, I think, 99.9999% of the light, lets about a millionth of the sunlight through, which is a safe level. This is a Lunt 60mm and I use this solar finder and it has a little hole that passes the sunlight through so I don't have to use an optical finder to then look at the sun. So I use a Celestron eyepiece, a zoom eyepiece, so I can go wide angle and high power, and I use that to have a quick visual look at the sun before I then put my planetary camera on. This is an ASI 224MC. This is what I've got, this is my planetary camera, and it seems to work all right. And for high magnification use, I use a Tal Barlow a times two Barlow just to increase the magnification. So with this camera, I can't fit the whole disc of the sun into the field of view, so I end up taking a number of shots and then making a mosaic as I put them together. You definitely need an infrared cup filter screwed into the front. These camera chips, and we need a whole load of cameras, are very sensitive into the infrared. So you want to put the infrared cup filter on and that stops that bleed through. really large sunspot and one really impressive prominence. So I set the mount up using the spirit level on my phone to set the latitude and a compass to point north. Now trying to use a laptop screen in daytime is near impossible so I use a black plastic tub and then cover it with this dark blanket. I've set up at the front of the garage so apologies for the poor noise it's quite a windy day and there's also the occasional passing traffic. So what I do before I put the Barlow in is shoot four panels, stitch them together into a mosaic. So top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. So this is what I'm facing today. There's loads of blue sky and lots of little cumulus clouds all slowly drifting with the wind. So I'll put the times two Barlow in with the view of doing some close-ups. I'll just show you what the sky is, what I'm trying to battle against. So lots and lots of drifting cumulus. I'm trying to catch the sun when it goes in the clear bits. Yep, over here we have whole patches of blue and it's always in the wrong place. So while I was set up, my neighbour and his friend wondered what on earth I was doing with a blanket over my head sitting in front of the house. So they popped over and had a look. You right? Yeah, just looking at the sun. Just standing in the shower, eh? Yeah, yeah, do you want to have a look? Lower it, man. <laughs> it's easier going back. It's all downhill down that way. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just waiting for that last little patch of cloud. Yeah. To clear the sun and then hopefully... I'll tell you what, why don't you sit down? Oh, have a seat, no, that's right, don't worry, have a seat. The problem is you can't see the laptop screen, it's from the sides. You can't see the laptop screen in the sunlight, so it tends to be rather fetching Victorian. Ah, oh, right. So just wait for that cloud to clear, yeah, wherever it is. Oh, come on. Huge patch of blue sky, just yes, there yeah. you are, now we can start to see shadows. There we go, yeah, there's yeah. the sun. Oh, right. Let me that. There's the sunspot. That dark patch, that spot in the centre. I'll photograph that. But yeah, you sometimes, oh, it's gone again. Must be another oh, patch. Oh, and there's another, good, there's a, <laughs> 30 seconds, and there's a solar flare as oh, well. Yeah. If you put that, there you go. So let's have a look then. So if I can follow the edge of the sun round. There we go, there's the oh, big yeah, one. Yeah, I can see that one. Yeah, like a little hedgerow or something, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit brighter again. There we go, look at that. 
Yeah. And what I want to do is try and photograph, mm. and you can actually see them change as the, you know, the arches, the magnetic fields. Yeah, yeah. And then they, you know, the, the sort of gas gets exchanged. There you see there's a bit more sunspots down there as well. Yeah, yeah in real time. That's brilliant. Yeah. Thanks very much. Very interesting. Yeah, no, no worries. <laughs> is it me? I just want to have a look. So I think we, we finally found the, the solar flare. Oh, oh lovely. So you so I'm, look, I'm, looking, I'm looking at one, two now. Three even. It, yeah, that, that's the big one. Yeah, and that's, 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 the sun, and that's the sunspot. Oh no, that's a... Where has it gone then? That was a, that, I told... So, you told me that, that's the, the one. one. Yeah. That was, in that, was that in that position last time you... Sh oh, they're always, Move, they're always oh, moving, moving and coming and yeah, going yeah. anyway. See, there's loads of little yeah. flares. Oh. Some sort of dynamic. Yeah, it'll change over the hour. That's right. And now I'm ready to take a photograph, it starts clouding over again. <laughs> So after I've captured my data, I then like to look at spaceweather.com and see which sunspots are, are on display, and then I can label up my images. When this poor weather's cleared, I'm gonna set the solar scope up again and have another look at this new sunspot group. And I'm also going to get up early before the cumulus builds, before the sun heats up the ground and the cumulus builds. And what I'll do then is on the next video, I'll show you that in more detail, get you through the capture and then processing techniques. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll show you my solar techniques in the next video.